live on Thursday afternoon here in South Florida. Uh, we've been working all day, making videos. Baba Dani's here, so we made Bulgarian cheese pie called Banitsa. Maybe the eighth one we've made in the last two weeks, but are you complaining, Leilani? No. Uh, no one's complaining around here. And I've been doing a few lives here and there on Instagram and on Facebook, and I'm like, you know what? I gotta do a live on YouTube because you guys are the OGs. Uh, we're making a fun dinner, and I have a really fun product announcement that a lot of you probably don't know about on YouTube. But I have skirt steak here. So these are grass-fed skirt steaks I got from uh, Cook's Venture. It's the place where I get my chicken, but they have beef, and I wanted to try it because I love skirt steak. It's a relatively tender cut that benefits from Vin Diesel style of cooking, fast and furious. So I have the Flav City cast iron pan over there. I got some wild rice boiling here. We're gonna make up like a little hodgepodge wild rice salad. We'll have a couple glasses of keto wine. Easy dinner. The girls are at the playground right now hanging out. So welcome, you guys know the drill. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. I saw a few uh, comments before we went live. Stingman is here from Austin. Cooking with Licious here. Meth is in the house. London, Olga is here. Great to see you all. We got uh, Ontario, Canada, Jersey. My girl V is here. Um, so let's start with the spice rub for the steak. And then we'll uh, talk about some other exciting things. So if you come around here, Leilani, the kitchen is almost 100% organized. And say hello to my spice drawer. This was organized. To make it easy, we have different levels here. There's a great girl named Danielle who uh, helped me on Instagram. And so I'm gonna make a spice rub with shocking smoked paprika, cumin, uh, the Greek oregano that I'm almost out of that I brought home from Athens this past summer. And let's get a wild card. What's a crazy ingredient that we normally wouldn't put in here? How about, ooh, ground fennel. That sounds lovely, kind of that black licorice vibe. So we'll do that, and some salt. Uh, you basically can't go wrong. I know some places sell marinated skirt steak like Costco. I would never do that for a couple of reasons. Number one, you're never gonna find grass-fed steak. Number two, uh, read the ingredients for marinades. They almost always include processed oils like sunflower oil and whatnot, and sugar, and just cruddy ingredients. It behooves you to do it yourself. I don't know about you, Leilani. One of, my, one of my main takeaways from life is that if you want to do it right, you do it yourself. Right? There's very few people you can count on to do it the way you can do it. Luckily, I have a few of them in my life. Uh, but you really, you really have to do it yourself. So come on in here, Leilaners. Smoked paprika. What is smoked paprika for the one of you who don't know? It's Sweet paprika made from red bell peppers, but smoked. So can you smell that? It smells like a barbecue. And for staying man down in Austin, you're going to love that because you got them smoke houses down there. I see cooking with Lish, a $5 holler. Watching your videos, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, i thrown away a lot of stuff. I love to hear that. And uh, I see a Canadian, $28 from V. Thank you for that. Guys, save your super chats. You know, just, say, just share the link. You don't have to spend any of your money. I appreciate your support all these years. I appreciate you buying the products, which I'm gonna show you about in one second. Fennel, because we have a protein powder that just came on the market that is literally blowing people away. And then we'll take some oregano, crush it up here. This is the Greek oregano, if you could smell that also. Really, really vibrant. No, Brian, Kara was just here um, visiting. And then the cumin. Kara was visiting because she has a bachelorette party she's going to. So she came by for a couple, couple minutes here. So we're gonna mix that up. That's our spice rub. I never add salt to spice rubs because I wanna control the amount of salt that goes on my food. So that's it. I'm gonna call this like what? Um, a smoky, herby spice rub. You can basically put anything you want in there. It's gonna be great. Now I'm gonna reach for some good salt. This here, it looks like white bleached salt, but Leilani, would I ever use bleached iodized salt? <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, by the way, say hello to everyone, Leilani. Hello. Leilani's in the house, rocking like we always do. This is Celtic sea salt. It's from Brittany, France. Any kind of unrefined salt works. So I still have it out here? I was here. This would work too. This is what I seasoned my boiling water with for the uh, wild rice. 
Himalayan pink salt from Costco. And luckily it's from a place called the Spice Lab, which is in Pompano Beach, Florida, super high quality places. The only reason why I don't cook with this is I'll show you. Watch my fingers, Leilani. This is a coarse salt. See how nothing's coming out of my fingers? I control the salt. Almost all Himalayan salt is very fine. So if I do that, look at this. I'm not doing anything, it's falling out. You'll tend to over season. That's why I use this for seasoning pasta water and just talking quality wise, pink salt is not quite as high quality as Celtic salt, but still it's way better than bleached, processed, refined Morton salt, diamond crystal salt, Haines celestial salt. All of those are garbage because they are bleach. They're processed, they're refined, and they're pure sodium chloride. So they spike your blood pressure. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum, bo, under pressure. So we salt our steaks nicely because beef loves salt. You ever had a steak, Leilani, that was really bland? Like someone forgot to salt it? Um, not that I can recall because I don't think about the bad steaks that I've had. <laughs> you blocked them out of your head? Yeah. <laughs> if you've ever had an undersalted steak, it doesn't taste like beef. It tastes bland as can be. And I've had that. And actually, when Desi and I went to uh, Argentina to Buenos Aires, they don't really salt their beef, beef too much. And that really bummed me out. If I knew, I would have brought some Celtic in my pocket. Beef loves salt. It makes it taste more beefy. It doesn't sound like Argentina, though. I don't know. I asked them. I, maybe it was the one place I went. It was a really famous steakhouse where all like, the tourists and everyone go. And it just it wasn't a season. They were beautiful steaks, too. I was super bummed out about it. So let me flip these guys over and just season the other side. All right, keep leaving comments down below. We got 800 lovely people watching. But Tom, in our lovely kitchen here that I love. It's spacious, it's functional, it's so nice to design your own kitchen. More importantly, behind me is a new product that launched two weeks ago. And before I got a chance to even tell the YouTube family about it, it sold out. We sold 5,000 units in 72 hours. Well, it came back in stock yesterday morning. And we only got 3,500 units because COVID is a pain in the behind. It's really messing up the supply chain. We got 3,500 units and we've already sold 2,500 of them, which is amazing. But while that marinates, I just got to give a little shout out to the Flav City Protein Smoothie. Now, I think this is a game changer in the protein space because it's not just a protein powder. It's a protein smoothie. Meaning, do you guys watch my stories back in the day? And remember, I used to make a protein smoothie after the gym with bananas and peanut butter and reishi mushrooms and cocoa powder, like 10 ingredients. Well, I thought to myself a year and a half ago, what if I powderized every single one of those and made the blender obsolete so you never have to use it for your smoothies again because it's a pain in the butt to blend it and clean it? Well, this is it. Come over here, Leilani. Not only does this have 100% grass-fed, cold-pressed, non-denatured whey, meaning it's very minimally processed, so if you're lactose intolerant like me, this should not bother you. And not only does it have 25 grams of protein, but zoom in on the ingredients here, look at this. So, whey protein with banana powder, grass-fed collagen, 10 grams in there, peanut butter powder, cocoa powder, coconut milk powder, organic third-party lab tested for heavy metal pea protein powder, unrefined pink salt, cordyceps and reishi mushrooms, top shelf stevia, pure monk fruit, that's it. So when you, I'll make one right now. So when you shake this up with 12 ounces of water if you want, but I recommend shaking it with 12 ounces of liquid of choice, like milk, you have the most rich, creamy protein smoothie around and you never have to use your blender. Can I get a high five, right? It's exciting because look at any other protein on the market. The best ones out there are um, Truvani, Just Ingredients, um, Four Sigmatic, Laird Superfood, all great proteins, but no one's put a complete smoothie in a, ba in a bag until now. So here's how it works, okay? And by the way, go to shopflavcity.com. If you're interested, I put the link down below, shopflavcity.com and grab a bag because it is gonna sell out. It's $50 for 20 servings, so $2.50 a serving, which is the same price as Four Sigmatic. 
but the only difference is this is a complete smoothie. So I think we're actually cheaper than most of the top ones on the market. So I come to my refrigerator that still has no panels on it yet, but at least it's working. They fixed it last Monday. So after four months, we finally have a refrigerator that works and I'll get the milk. This is my smoothie almond milk. I'm not going to use a top shelf like malk or kiki milk because it gets expensive for drinking daily smoothies, but this has no natural flavors, no added sugar. These will be available in about one to two weeks. The Bobby approved stainless steel uh, shaker cups. They're free if you subscribe to monthly shipments or they'll be like 20 bucks. You put 12 ounces of milk of choice or water in here. Every order for free gets a whisk ball. You don't need it per se, but I find that it just blends it up to make it uber creamy. And then you put a scoop of the protein powder. And when I'm saying we give you a generous scoop, look at this little one. This is a scoop. It's a massive meal replacement, if you want to, scoop of nothing but goodness. Goes in there, and then you do your best Tom Cruise and shake it. Now, think of the texture of like a premier protein or only what you know at the grocery store. It's the same texture, but all those pre-made shakes and even a lot of smoothie um, protein powders on the market have sunflower oil, gums, emulsifiers, natural flavors, artificial flavors, carrageenan, read Premier Protein. It's barf inducing. And I'm not just saying that's really bad. This has the same texture as that, but it's none of the BS ingredients. I'm going to shake it. Do I prefer Celtic sea salt or Redmond salt? Um, I like Celtic just because Redmond is a little grainy, but Redmond is very good stuff here. Better than toxic GNC protein. I see people um, scanning GNC with the Bobby approved app. Toxic is actually a nice way of saying it. Can you yeah. taste the cordyceps or mushrooms? No, no, absolutely not. There's such a little scoop in there and it's masked by the chocolate and the protein. But the reason why I chose Cordyceps and Rishi is the same reason that Four Sigmatic uses it. The old noggin, incredibly good for cognition. So I'm telling you, you're not going to find a protein powder smoothie on the market in general, but you'll never find a protein like this that's as functional and nutrient dense without one garbage ingredient. Now, look at this texture, Leilani. So I pour it in here. Silk, my friends. Look at that. Pure, creamy, silk. Now I'm biased because it's mine. I think it tastes like a malted milkshake. Rose thinks it tastes like chocolate chip cookies. Desi said it tasted like, was it chocolate milk? No, that was Kara. Um, and then a fan told me it tastes like a melted Reese's peanut butter cup. The reviews we're getting are crazy. Just look at that. Most people think of protein as something that tastes gritty, or has a bad flavor, but they have to suck it down because it's good for you. Well, imagine drinking something that is good for you, is a whole smoothie. You don't have to use the darn blender again and clean it. And it tastes amazing with texture like the gods, heavenly. We did it. So this is out right now. I put the link in the description box. If you don't know what the description box is, just right below the video, click this arrow here. And then here's the link right there. ShopFlavCity.com. And sometimes there's a merch shelf. I don't know if it shows up on, um, if you're watching after the fact, there might be a little merch shelf. You can click on protein right there. Um, in June, we'll have the um, berries and cream version out. That'll be nut free. We'll have a plant based version of this that'll be nut free, hopefully, coming in, I'd say, September. So this is the most exciting product of all the ones we've done yet. Hey, and. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just super exciting. So I need discounts for subscription buyers of the protein. Yes, it's not available yet, Lisa, but you will get probably a 10% discount. Meaning also, if this sells out, you are guaranteed to get this on a monthly basis and you can cancel your sub any, whenever you want. And you'll get this stainless steel Bobby approved shaker bottle. Cause you know, I'm not going to give you plastic. That's going to leach nanoparticles into your body. Uh, we are working on it. Cooking with Lish, we're working on a keto funfetti cake batter protein smoothie. Let me show you the macros here. 
So we're gonna come out with ones that are slightly lower carb, but 14 grams of net carbs for something this nutrient dense is fantastic. It's diabetic friendly. I'd say if you're keto, it's on the edge, right? We're gonna come out with ones that have seven to eight grams of net carbs, but it's a good meal replacement with those macros. So it wasn't easy to do, but I know because people scan protein more than anything else with my Bobby approved app, which is free by the way. And I had to come out with this because almost all the ones on the market are disgusting flavor wise and ingredient wise yet. And the fact that we can do ingredients, I mean, you'll agree too, Leilani, it's, it's a game changer. Yep. I drink one a day, I love it. So I'll stop talking for now, but shopflavcity.com, chicky chicky, check it out. Rye bags, 20 pounds? Rye bags, you're too kind. Save your, your super chats, please just share the live stream, tell your friends about Flav City. We don't have it available outside of USA and Canada yet, but we'll get to the UK soon. And yes, if you're in Canada, you can buy all of my products. Um, and we ship over to you guys and we eat 50% of the shipping cost because the amount they charge is 20 bucks to ship a bag of anything and we eat $10 of that. Does it have soy? Crystal, you're talking to me. Leilani, would I put soy in protein? Hell no. Blah, no, even if it was, exactly, even if it was organic, it's still inflammatory, no way. Let's see here. Yes, I'll be leaving this live up, all live stay up. Any vegan smoothie in the works? Yes, Mary. We're going to do a chocolate vegan smoothie that's also nut-free coming soon. Uh, coupon code for the lemonade. Um, I don't think we have any discounts right now, but if you get uh, a protein and a lemonade, I know it'll be free shipping. Uh, we just can't do any, any uh, discounts right now because I know because um, we don't have that many in stock and the, the COVID supply chain is real. It is real. So let's get back to dinner. If you're just joining... Welcome, welcome. We have 800 lovely people watching. We have grass-fed skirt steaks here, marinating with these ingredients right here. We made a spice rub with fennel, oregano, cumin, and smoked paprika, and unrefined salt. So once again, if you cook with Morton's kosher salt, diamond crystal salt, iodized white table salt, stop, right? I've made videos ad nauseum on YouTube. I made a TikTok, which is anyone following me on TikTok? Um, we have almost half a million followers in just a couple months, but TikTok people are cray cray. They love to attack me, call me a fear monger, a misinformationist. What else? Um, other crazy words like that. Mm -hmm. They make reaction videos like doctors and, and scientists make it. It's crazy because that's never happened to me before in all my 10 years of doing this. But TikTok's an interesting place. We're just putting the content there because uh, it's a platform I want to be on, but I'm not making it for that. I'm making it for Instagram reels and YouTube shorts. So that's what's going on. So that kind of salt that I mentioned is so bleached and processed and refined that it's responsible for raising your blood pressure. When you have unrefined salt like Celtic sea salt or Himalayan pink salt, these are completely unrefined salts and have up to 90 trace minerals that prevent your blood pressure from getting spiked. And they taste better because a little bit of magnesium, calcium, potassium tastes good when you mix it with the sodium chloride. For, <clears throat> will I post the recipe? Um, maybe after the fact, Lori, I'll type it and put it in the description box. Thank you, Cheryl. She likes the uh, YouTube shorts. Trolls need love. It's true, actually. I actually feel bad for people who hate on other people's content because obviously they're unhappy. I feel bad about that. Question about sea salt. I heard there is a plastic nanoparticles no matter how unrefined the sea salt and Himalayan salt is. What do you think of that? I mean, listen, number one, I don't think that's true with pink salt because this comes from the mountains from old uh, salt lakes. Nice little setup there, Leilani. So no, this wouldn't have it, but something coming from the ocean, it could in theory have it because the oceans are polluted. That being said, it's still better than bleach processed salt. So if you're really worried about that, I would stick with salt like this or red mineral salt that doesn't come from the current day ocean. It comes from ocean beds that dried up thousands of years ago. So that's actually a good, a good point. Okay, so that's that. Let's start chopping some vegetables for our wild rice salad. So Leilani, this is what's in the water back there. It's wild rice. And technically, wild rice 
is not rice at all. What did this guy just say? He's, he's a fear monger. He's spreading misinformation again. No, it's actually not rice at all. It's an aquatic grass. Here, I'm in one of the three uh, refrigerators we have here. This was the primary fridge when that one was broken for four months. This is Rose's fridge here. I'm just seeing what we got here. Because I'm going to throw anything and everything into this salad here. I just got some veggies. So wild rice is an aquatic grass. And there's a couple benefits to that. Number one, there's no heavy metal. Well, you know, we talk about heavy metals can be in a lot of rices from certain parts of the world. Some parts of the world can have higher inorganic heavy metals because of pollution. But aquatic rice has zero, which is a big positive. But Leilani, look at the protein and fiber on here. When it comes to nutrient-dense rice, you cannot beat that because it has a whopping amount. How much fiber and protein is it per serving there, Leilani? Um, three grams of fiber and seven grams of protein per a fourth of cup of dry. Right. right. So, so that is fantastic because you're getting the protein and fiber. And what's the benefit of eating foods that are fiber-rich? Number one, they fill you up. Number two, they clean you out and make you regular. Number three, they don't spike your blood sugar the way white rice would. It's way more nutrient dense. White rice, bad. Brown rice, good. Wild and crazy rice, better. I love wild rice. The only possible negative is that it takes an hour to cook. But if you go to Target and get the pre-cooked packets, it's amazing. So I'm just going to toss that with a bunch of veggie tables that I have here and see how it goes. And then I'll make a nice little dressing. You know what we should make for that, Leilani? We should make Rose's famous maple horseradish dressing. Oh, yeah. Right? It's so good. So good. So good. Did you just say that you don't poop if you don't eat rice? Say again? Someone say what? Did you just say that you don't poop if you don't eat rice? <laughs> He's a misinformationist. He's saying you got to eat rice to poop. No, I'm just saying it's a great source of fiber. And I know for a fact that a lot of people have regularity issues. So it's nice to eat fiber-rich foods. And because I wore a glucose monitor for a good two months, and I'm going to do that experiment again and make a video about it, I know that when you eat complex carbohydrates, it doesn't spike your blood sugar as much as eating simple carbohydrates. And I did a great experiment. I planned to make a video. Then we moved and I forgot to do it. And it's so outdated now from the old kitchen, I have to redo it. Which means, Leilani, I have to go, go through the task of eating simple carbs one day, keto another day, complex carbohydrates. It was a really interesting experiment. By the way, in case you haven't seen, I've been cooking with the Flav City cookware set called Kitchen in a Box. And it's coming out this fall. It's gonna have, it's not focusing? Nope. That's okay. Too small. <laughs> you can see it says Bobby approved right here. So Kitchen in a Box is actually not just an assortment of 14 pots and pans. It's everything you need to cook and none of the you don't, because fans would always ask me, and this idea came from fans, just like all good ones. Bobby, what's the best cookware set to get? And I looked around. This is the knife you'll be getting in the cookware set. I looked around, and I said, you know what? Nobody needs 10 pieces of anodized steel cookware. Nobody needs 14 pieces of stainless steel cookware because you're not going to use half of them. They're going to sit in your cabinets collecting dust, and it's a waste of time and money. What if I put together a cookware set of stuff you really need and will use, but none of the stuff you won't? So that's what it is. And I'll show you as we cook. It's a really nice enameled cast iron pan. It's a nonstick ceramic pan. It's a stainless steel pan and a stainless steel pot. And for cookware, that's it. But then you get a beautiful Japanese knife. This wooden Brazilian teak cutting board. Tongs, whisks, wooden spoons, oven gloves, splatter guards, uh, all the things you really need for cooking and none of the stuff you don't. And if you don't want to buy the whole cookware set, don't buy it. You can buy a la carte. Will it have a baking tray, ceramic one? Um, it will not have a sheet tray, this one. 
That'll be an add-on later on, and that hopefully will be in the Flav City non-toxic bakeware set next year. We've been working on it for almost two years, and because of COVID, it just takes forever, because a lot of it's made in Brazil, and the only thing made in China are the small accessories like this. But the nice thing is my, my partner is Tramantina, an amazing company from Brazil, and they have their own factory in China. And so it's not like cheapos. So look at this, the Flav City Bobby approved bench scraper. So I'm not inventing the next Instant Pot. I'm taking my favorite things from the kitchen, tweaking a couple little things here and there and putting them in kitchen in a box. So very exciting things. So we're making the wild rice salad. Yeah, I'm hoping for at the latest November 1st. And what color is it available? Um, so it's, it's all going to be in this color right here, Flav City Maroon. We're not able to do um, customized colors yet. When will the Flav City protein etc. be at Costco? <laughs> <laughs> Julio, uh, good question and thank you for the super chat. I don't know. Because my supplier, who's in Utah, of course, we make everything in uh, the USA, they might be able to make liquid versions already pre-made in like those nice recyclable containers. But it's more expensive, and I think that would be good for a Costco. But who knows? I, I think Costco likes me. Then they tell me they don't like me. I don't know. You would think they like me considering I've probably driven millions of dollars of memberships for them. Because, you know, we were working on the Flav City prepared foods at Costco, and then Somebody there was like, well, he doesn't really talk positive about all of our foods at Costco. And I'm like, I don't talk positive about anyone's foods 100% because not anyone does it correctly. And they failed to see the big picture there. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about putting some products on Amazon for quicker shipping and stuff like that. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Let me know. Because right now the products are just available on Shop Flav City. And like I said, we literally only have a thousand of these left in stock. We sold 2,500 in 24 hours. So shopflavecity.com is the only place you can buy them. I put the link right below the video or just go to Shop Flav City. But I know on Amazon, we would ship them like thousands and thousands of units and they would ship them prime delivery. So let me know if you want, it, if you want that too. Lots of yeses. Ah, uh, okay, and okay. Somebody um, said, let me see if I can scroll back up here. Uh, sorry for the shaky video. <laughs> Sarah Ivan said they literally got a membership at Costco after watching your videos years ago. And Jul Julio said a good chunk of Bobby's life has been spent at Costco. It has. <laughs> and I like it. I love walking in there. Uh, Dee Powell says, long time viewer here, but awed by your precise knowledge of health and foods we should consume to maximize our health. Thank you for that. Listen, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. And I think that's a good thing. But I can put my own years and years of research into knowing what we should put into our body, or at least I should put in my body to thrive. And that's what I do. And it's just funny, ever since making content on TikTok, people call me an idiot and a fear monger, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I like to troll. Yeah, totally, totally. I mean, for God's sakes, we've been making YouTube videos together since 2012. How crazy is that? How many people have been here since the early, early days? I mean, I recognize a bunch of names here. I see Stangman's in the house. Um, I saw earlier, forgot who that was. How many OGs are here? I'm gonna, just gonna cut around this and throw this orange in there. The OGs in the house, right? Julio raises hand. Dirk's in the house. D of, well, of course. Dirk's been around, OG, he's so OG, he's moderating. So if anyone steps out of line, Dirk is gonna block you, but you better be careful. So is Stangman, they don't mess around. Don't mess around. Uh, Rose and mom and grandma are at the playground right now. Lash is an OG. Nice, we love it. Patricia G is an OG. I love it. It's crazy, you guys, because now across YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, we're about 7.5 million, which is crazy to me. Because you guys remember back in the day, nobody watched these videos. And I didn't care, Desi and I love making them, right? But to go from videos that really did not reach anyone and to slowly churning along and chugging along to now, just have 3.3 million on YouTube is crazy.
Do you want to go left, go and see some of the earlier? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were laughing a little too hard when we showed you those, Leilani. <laughs> a little too hard. <laughs> Come on, when you were making the prohibition style drink. Oh, uh, yeah. Go on YouTube and search Flav City, what was that cocktail? Flav City cocktail. And I did a whole uh, prohibition style drink that is, it was pretty good acting. I, uh, I should be nominated for something for that. I should get my SAG card or something. Yeah, the Halloween one. The Halloween one with my niece, yeah. The one where you're in Italy and you charred the, the bread. On yeah, <laughs> the octopus and the bread on the beach. Yeah. Good times had by all. Let's see here. Yeah, I used to do a lot of these live streams in Chicago back in the day. Been a fan since Rosie was born. I accidentally found you because my daughter Mia was born at the same uh, day, same year as Rosie. Oh, that's awesome, Olga. So you have a birthday coming up for your daughter too. Oh, Jackie. Jackie Haddam Spiegel, she's an OG, is watching from Long Island. Any idea when your cookware be, will be available? My guess will be November 1st. So just in time for the holiday season. Holiday celebrate hey jackie did you get a chance to order the protein powder smoothie jackie's a big supporter she tries everything i make um it'll be great jackie in long island when you're out and about doing your workout you sip on look at that texture it just stays that way right you just shake this for 20 seconds and this will be available soon the bobby approved stainless steel shaker bottle you shake it with water if you want but i use any kind of milk almond milk in this case you get the most nutrient dense protein smoothie ever. I think if we, if we list this thing on Amazon eventually, the amount of people searching protein every day could propel this to like a number one Amazon top spot. Now the, the OG Weber and Kettle Grill. <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> oh, good, thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Kellen. Hey, if you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. Hey, and we're gonna make a little dressing. We're gonna make Rose and Daddy's creamy horseradish dressing. So let's go into this fridge for a second. I don't know. We have things spread across three fridges. So I'm looking for, here we go, mayonnaise. I'm looking for uh, maple syrup. Here we go. I'm looking for, what else? Hmm. Yes, thank you. Not just any vinegar, the ground maple, the guys who make the bomb.com uh, maple syrup, actually, they make a maple apple vinegar that, oh my God, sacre bleu, so delicious. <laughs> I know, one time I grabbed, I grabbed this thinking it was maple, uh, uh, maple syrup one time and almost ruined a dish. I was like, oh. Yikes, and then I need a little, let me see what's in here real quick. Oh, you know what, there's stuff I need in here. We need horseradish, and we need capers, and we need, where's this roses fridge? Stone ground mustard, that's what we need. And actually, you know what, if you want, if you want to make this super special, look at this, organic strawberry infused maple syrup from Hudson Valley. There's a couple of great things in Hudson Valley. Crown maple and Viviana Barraza. Crown maples are syrups of the best. We don't have them down here. We have their competitor, and it was on discontinued last month because it's getting to the fall and uh, or the spring and summer season. So let me get some spoons. Yeah, look. Uh, I want to say maybe like a week and a half ago. Play City Trader Joe's. Mm hmm. Where do you get the crown vinegar? Uh, that I got online actually. And why are you using a 365 almond milk? Uh, because it's my go-to for smoothies because uh, I drink one a day and I'm not gonna use the top shelf stuff like milk or kiki milk all the time. So because this has no natural flavors and no added sugar, yes, it has the gums. I'm okay with it for smoothies, but when I'm having a cereal bowl or when I drink it, I drink kiki milk or milk. You know, Bubby's horseradish has cane sugar in it. Bye, Liana, thank you so much. My, let's see. It has, does have cane sugar. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. It has cane sugar and natural flavors? Oh my God. What the what? <laughs> Look at this. Oh no. Oh no, Bubby. <laughs> WTF, what are you doing? Oh my God. Did we change the... I don't know. 
Sugar I can maybe understand for a fermented product, but natural flavors, Bobby. I hate to do this to you, but busted. Boom. Goodbye. She's in the garbage. Oh no. Wow. That's see, even I get fooled once in a while. That's terrible. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, I'm going to grate some fresh garlic in there to give it that zingo. Can you believe that, guys? They got me. Also available in the cookware set is the Flav City mesh strainer here. And then I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you the pot. Dirk says in the trash with the MSG. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Isn't that hilarious when Dirk brought me MSG? Yeah. Bobby did this wrong. <laughs> Okay, so this is probably my favorite thing. One of my favorite things in the new kitchen is this beautiful sink, a four foot long sink that I can just put a lot of stuff in and not worry about clutter. I mean, we fill it up all day, every day. It's just great. And notice how I poured the hot water into the bowl. I did that because I try to avoid putting hot water down the drain because it can crack the pipes and stuff. And because, yeah, you're supposed to run cold water to counteract that, but because the water doesn't get super cold here in Florida, I'm very cognizant of that. Yes. Did you, not you didn't know that, huh? That. I yeah, have been making well, you're in a rental. Plumbers around hate me probably. Yeah, you're in a rental. It's okay. Yeah. When it's your own house, you want to be a little more aware of that. So hot rice it goes in yonder. Shaky camera. I had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> tired today. She, uh, Leilani's tired. Desi and I and Rose are tired because Rose had a tough night. Uh, but we power through. Had our layered superfoods. Uh, Leilani had a nitro cold brew from Stumptown when she stopped at Whole Foods for me today. Okay, so creamy maple garlic dressing now, not horseradish. Let me get a thing. Adapter dye. Exactly. Always. So we'll start off with mayonnaise. Avocado oil mayonnaise. We ain't using no GMO. Come on in here, girlfriend. Don't be shy. We're thinking about revamping the live stream setup to hardwire it to the computer with two Canon cameras and doing it through Streamlabs so we can have camera one, camera two, maybe even camera three. Do you guys think that would make a big difference quality-wise? Are you content with um, the iPhone? Shaky iPhone. Shaky iPhone and Leilani uh, roaming around. Roam if she wants to. Roam around the what kitchen. What is Avocado Mayotis like compared to Hellman's? Um, I haven't had Hellman's in <laughs> many, many years. I don't know. It tastes delicious to me. That's all I know. Look at this beautiful strawberry organic maple syrup. Oh, so delicious. iPhone is cool, doesn't matter to me. Oh, Naomi loves this smoothie. Best one um, got a second bag. Oh, nice. Thank you, Naomi. Honestly, the reviews have been amazing and I'm super pumped to hear that. I knew it was good, but when people confirm it, because listen, most proteins do not taste good. You guys know I love stone ground mustard, but Dijon works too. The difference is stone ground has those mustard seeds in there. Mm -hmm. When Rose makes this, she puts the biggest scoop ever, but it tastes really good. And I said I've used stream labs and that's some really cool effects and I've increased the overall experience. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to dabble. Salt. Because what we would, would do for that is we have camera one stationary all the time and Leilani would float with camera two. And then when she came over here or the stove, we would toggle over to camera two and then toggle back to camera one when I'm talking. Ideally, we'd have a third person who would do that for us. They can moderate, uh, put special links on and stuff like that. So, you know, obviously we're not doing as many live streams, but it, it could be fun just to mess around. Will those Flave City um, shakers be in the cookware? Uh, no, those are a one of a kind that I got made like, gosh, six years ago by a company called Fletcher's Mill. But mm -hmm. maybe for this uh, future iteration, that could be fun. Now what I like to do is take some capers 
which are the buds of a Mediterranean bush, actually. And it bugs? Takes, uh, the buds, the center. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're bugs. They're bugs. Yep, they're Mediterranean bugs that are pickled. They're in the cockroach family. Speaking of Mediterranean, we'll be in Greece the first week of October with 20 plus Flav City fans, including Leilani, Baba Dani, Mama Ali. We're all going to be there on the Flav City culinary tour of Santorini in Athens. And by the way, um, there might be a couple more spots. Raise your hand. Is anyone interested in joining? We can send you a link. There might be a couple more spots. Say hi, Nacho, by the way. Desi's dad's in the house. Sort of, eh? No. <laughs> Nacho's in the house. We're making beef. We got meso, salatka at oris, sozele, e drugi zelenchutzi. Thank you. Are you hiring a security guard? For, for the trip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be isolated on the island, so you can't go anywhere far, but... What? Oh, uh, Oris. Oris, da. As go to Vene Oris, da din shas. Somebody said, please do another one next year, like I'm too pregnant. Ah, okay. Pregnant. Yeah, well, if it goes well, we'll do another one. But if you're interested... Povin shas. na kakbo. Oh, oh, da. Malki siga goyam. Da. Duh. Look, yeah. Look at that. I think it's a beautiful dressing. Really beautiful dressing. I gotta check it for seasoning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> more, season, that's what more seasoning. More seasoning. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, send a, send a DM to Leilani at Shop Flav City on Instagram. Or if you're not on Instagram, you could email um, support at flavcity.com. Hey, who's here? Did you put any garlic in it? I didn't yet. Fire! Come over here, Rose. I got something for you to try. It doesn't need the garlic. Forget about it. Okay. That is so effing good. Rose, honey bunny ballerina. Get over here, Tushalon. I got a new swimsuit. You got a swimsuit in the mail? Yeah. From Amazon? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And this is so I hug it onto the... I hug into the ball. You were hanging at the playground? Yeah. Like the monkeys? No, not the playground. Where? The, the, not the playground, the other one. The other one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's, and then you went to the mailbox and got a, a bathing suit? Yeah. That sounds like an amazing time. Then drive home. Then you drove home. Did you drive with mommy in the front? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so check it out, Rosie. We just made dressing. This is Rose Honey. Now, I want some rice. Some rice? Okay. I want you to try this because I made your dressing rose. You got to tell me if it's good. This is the rose honey maple syrup dressing. Good. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to make a rice salad. Let's... I want some rice. Okay. Here, let me bring your chef's tower. We can have some right now. Isn't it super fun, you guys, to watch Rose Honey Bunny grow? So we're live on YouTube, by the way, everyone. Wow. We're just hanging out a little impromptu dinner. Very nice. Isn't it fun to watch I'm Rose? Yeah. Grow. What are on you camera. So with how much she is speaking? She's, yeah, because everyone back in the day saw when she was small and now she's speaking and she's so demonstrative and she's a young lady now. It's, cra it's crazy. It's really. She's got some big words in her arsenal. Oh, yeah. That's a some rice. Let me get you oh, a fancy ball. Oh, we got to wash. Mommy said you got to wash her hands. Okay, hold on. Hands up. Hands up. I don't want to pinch her hand. Oh, hands up. There we go. Oh, dude. A hundred percent, yes. Yeah. Jesse, are you gonna make desserts? <laughs> <laughs> Here's your dessert. Liquid dessert, right here. Uh, chocolate chip cookies, liquid. Liquid chocolate chip cookies. Well, because you said, what does this taste like, Rosie? Chocolate chip cookies. I should put that in the bag. Tastes like chocolate chip cookies. Rose honey parish. <laughs> yeah. And people are asking if they can get the shaker bottle yet. Soon, soon. Yeah, these are stainless steel shaker bottles. They'll be free if you subscribe to a monthly shipment, which I highly recommend on shopflavecity.com. Um, the subs aren't available yet, but there's 20 servings in here. You'll go through it quick. And when we sell out, like we're doing left and right, you will be guaranteed a bag every month. 
and you get a discount too. So it's a no-brainer. Done? Yeah. Okay. Hands up. Bing, 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 bing. There you go, Mish. But it's so fun to watch her grow. It is. And watching one. Uh, skirt. Uh, Grass-fed skirt sticks. Oh, man. It's gonna be true. It's gonna be true. That's like a ringing endorsement. Oh man, it's gonna be chewy. I want some rice. <laughs> oh, and Irene's bringing banitsa. Today? Right now. More banitsa? 5.30. Holy cow. Oh, Crazy. Banitza. More banitsa. Banitsa party. A dessert banitsa. So we made this yeah. earlier. This is Bulgarian cheese yeah. pie. I want some rice, daddy o Where is Rosie's chef's tower from? Sprout Kids. So you have a discount. Code. I think Flav City for 10% always works there. Sprout Kids is all Montessori approved stuff. It's hot, Daddy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to blow on it. Do you want anything on there? And some dressing? Mm-hmm. Mm, yes or no? Yeah. A little dressing? Okay. Just a little bit, right? a thousand people in the house. Yeah, this is fun for an impromptu last minute thing. Just want to pop on live, say hi, tell you all about the uh, protein. Can you add fruit to that dessert um, protein smoothie? Yeah. So you can. You don't need to. You don't need to. That's the beauty of it. So you can. Oh, it's good. The protein smoothie, if you want to blend it, go ahead. But what did I write on the front of the package? Ditch your blender. Shake it and take it. Shake what your mama gave you. Because when you scoop it in here with 12 ounces of milk of choice or water, and you shake it like this. And by the way, every order gets a free whisk ball in there, a the little whisk ball, just to make sure it emulsifies. And when you pour it like this, Leilanders, and you have a texture. Now, now, I have to bring the rice and the protein over. You want to bring the rice and protein over where? Yeah, to the table. To the table? And, okay. Are you going to watch your iPad? Yeah. Ah, little Khan Academy kids. So we only watch TV on the weekends. During the week, it's only Khan Academy kids, which is a great free educational app. There you go, sweetheart. So to get that kind of texture without using a blender, without gums, emulsifiers, oils, artificial flavors, natural flavors, fake sugars, was not easy to do, but it was done and there ain't nothing like it. So like I said, I bet we're less than 800 now in stock. Shopflavcity.com, shopflavcity.com. I put the link right below the video, load up, uh, and subscriptions will begin in about a week or so, and the, um, the bottles will be here in about a week or so. So subscriptions will start when the bottles are here. Yeah, we can't do the subscription before. And mm -hmm. look at these cups. So we're hoping Sleepy Tea Latte comes in June, and subscribers will get for free this Fortessa Artisan Mug. Look at this, this is not a cheap, China one. This is a beautiful artisan mug from Fortessa, which I highly recommend, by the way. Go to Flav City Instagram. We're doing a giveaway with Fortessa. I'm giving away five sets of a 16-piece cookware. All my stuff is from Fortessa, and people love my bubble glasses. We're giving away these two. So head over there. It's going to expire the giveaway tomorrow morning, so you have plenty of time. Will the subscription for the protein smoothie be cheaper than $50 a month? Yep, absolutely. It'll be probably 10% off, so $45 a month. Uh, you're guaranteed a shipment every month. You get the free shaker bottle, and you're good to go. Audrey says she purchased the protein powder for her 13-year-old son, who has suddenly become a meat eater, and he loves it. No blending, Ooh. shaking, go to school. Thank you. Can't wait for the keto one. Love it. Love it. That's the beauty. You can take it and shake it. So can travel the world with it or work and then add the milk when you're ready shake it and you're good to go so they're saying so wait to order more protein if i want to subscribe um probably just go ahead and order and then you know because covid supply chain right yeah i'm not going to tell you what to do it could be two weeks three weeks maybe for these so if, if you need a bag grab one now and then subscribe next time uh, because that uh, we got five thousand bags 10 days ago or two weeks ago, we sold all 5,000 in 72 hours. We got 3,500 delivered to our uh, warehouse in South Florida uh, yesterday, and we've sold 
over 2,100 of them as of eight o'clock this morning. So we're probably over 2,500. It's great. People are just, they want it so bad. And then when they hear the reviews, because protein is the number one thing people buy, I think at the grocery store. And I can tell because people scan with the Bobby approved app. So when you have an opportunity to get a protein with best in class ingredients, and it's a whole smoothie and it's grass fed, cold pressed way, it's like, you don't see that kind of stuff very often. Somebody got their bag yesterday, so tasty. Thank you. Someone actually said, I love it so much, it might be slightly too thick. And I was like, haven't heard that one, but hey, add two more ounces of water if you, or a liquid of choice if you want. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Joseph Finley, you're funny. Finley's hey, here. So, some more made of cheese, would you take a bite? <laughs> $50 shout out. Oh, oh. it's Finley. Come on, save your money. Thank you for that, Finley. Appreciate it. Finley and Tunes from Ohio. Great Did to see you. The question, though. Yeah, so only if it were made of a no lactose cheese, like cheddar or Parmesan, preferably 36 month age Parmesan cheese from Costco, like Art likes, then I would do it. <laughs> so, what I've noticed out of the corner of my eye is look at the marinade. Because we've been jibber jabbering for about 45 minutes or more, the marinade has gone into the meat. And because I put salt, the salt drew moisture to the surface. The moisture um, dissolved the salt and some of the spices and it's gone back in. It's basically been like a self-marinating apparatus here, which is pretty cool because we didn't have to do anything except make a spice rub with these ingredients right here. Just these and salt. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mark Sisson likes white rice. I, really? Mark Sisson's like the godfather of paleo. I find that super hard to believe. Oh, by the way, I was told you have to turn on your exhaust 10 minutes before you cook so it creates the vortex. Is that true? I have a hard time believing that. That's the, um, whatchamacallit. The Heston one? Mm -hmm. Well, they say it's for anyone. I don't know. Mine is the crappy one and it works right away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't ask me, sister. Bobby, what is happening with the Bulgarian crisis with the gas turned off? So basically, Jackie, uh, Russia, as of yesterday morning, stopped supplying Poland and Bulgaria with natural gas because they won't pay them in rubles. And so they're punishing them. So I don't think they really have like a backup. So I don't know what's going to happen. It's not a good situation at all. Minnesota does have the best rice. They have the best wild rice. Minnesota and... Um, California, and I'll bet this is from Minnesota right here. Yep. Manufactured by In Harvest in Bemidji, Minnesota. Minnesota, eh? Love it. Are you going to make different flavors with the smoothies? Yes, indeed. So coming in June will be organic berries and cream. Later in the year will be pumpkin spice with real pumpkin powder. We're gonna do a vegan, nut-free version of chocolate. We're doing keto orange dreamsicle, keto funfetti cake mix. We're gonna do peppermint patty for the Christmas season. It's gonna be very exciting. What is the brand of rice at Target? It's the brand, uh, it's the Target brand. I have French gray salt here and I have Celtic salt. The, I love the gray salt, but sometimes it's just a little too chunky. So what I do, and I haven't done it yet, is I'll blend this in the food processor. Because this is really chunky gray salt. I love the flavor of gray salt even more than this. Gray salt is just because the mineral composition from this part of the ocean makes it gray. But I need to pulverize it. It's just a little too chunky for me. Is organic natural flavor a real thing? No. It's slightly better, but it's still BS lab derived uh, ingredients. So in my salad, I know my dressing is seasoned, but that is not. That's still bland vegetables, even though I put salt in the rice. So salt and pepper, ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Then we'll dress it. And this is literally something you can dress way ahead of time. Because nothing in here is gonna get soggy, even the uh, Cabbage. By the way, I've got a great show recommendation for you. Go to HBO Max and watch The Gilded Age. 
If you like Downton Abbey or period pieces, oh my God. First, we watched Bridgerton because Instagram and Leilani recommended it. We loved it. Then we watched The Gilded Age. How many seasons? That's just one. And I got to wait till probably super late this year for the second season. It is so good. It's about 1880s. New York City and the society and the money and the culture. If you like Downton Abbey, you're going to like this. And it's written by the same guy, Julian Fellows. <clears throat> it's so good. Somebody just um, recommended Outlander. Um, we tried watching episode one. Desi judges a show really quickly. If she doesn't like it, it's like Shark Tank. I'm out. I'll give it more time, but I don't know why. She didn't like that one, and everyone says, like, you have to watch it. So maybe we'll give that a try. First episode, I think, first or two episodes are kind of a little slow. Yeah, I don't know why. And then, and then it picks up for Yeah. Me. Personally, like, I've seen it. I'm, I was obsessed with it. I, I watched all the seasons. Oh, you did? I don't know if there's any more seasons than from, like, a few years ago. I think there is. Okay. Well, so check I'm this out. I have to restart my <laughs> Showtime subscription or Stars. Stars. Yeah, I don't know. Look at that. I don't know. Isn't that beautiful salad? Colorful, crunchy, check it for saisoning. Mmm. is going to try this. Oh my God. This is bomb diggity. Leilani, let's try that. Uh -huh. I'll feed you. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Isn't that delicious? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Somebody said you can pass the first season of Outlander and it's better. <laughs> I'll tell that's it. Last episode of the new season is this Sunday. Okay, so oh wow, thanks. I'm gonna have to like watch the other seasons. Like, Still going I strong. I thought it was like over. That salad is bomb.com. So, eyeball the ingredients for the dressing. It's all about the dressing, but it's I <laughs> I'd say rough. What's so funny? Oh, he said he would give you a login to HBO and play yeah. perks. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna forget about that. Bob. I know quite a few people. I'm more than happy too. Yeah. Because I wanted you to watch Gilded Age, right? Mm -hmm. Or you let me know when you're ready. So, mayonnaise, probably just over a half a cup. Yeah. We did mayonnaise. We did two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. We did a tablespoon and a half of vinegar. Any kind of vinegar works. I use the maple vinegar, the fancy one. Teaspoon and a half of stone ground mustard. Salt and pepper. Capers. Capers. A uh, tablespoon of capers, finely chopped. And that's it. That's no it. garlic. No, no garlic, no lemon juice. Sometimes I put a little drizzle olive oil, but I didn't this time. Done. Just taste it. You want it to be creamy, pretty acidic, and nicely sweet, and make sure there's enough salt in there. Boom goes the dynamite. Done. Is that the same dressing as you're using your tuna salad? Um, everything but, I don't put, I don't put, um, tamari soy sauce or sesame oil in this one. But yes, it's very similar. Longtime fans will notice that they all share very common ingredients. Because I'm a common man. I'm a caveman, right? I don't understand this modern world. Okay. Let's come back here, Leilani, and show... The Flav City enameled cast iron pan that's preheating over here. So, in the cookware set, you're going to get two of these Bobby approved oven gloves so you don't burn your darn wrist when you're going in and out of the oven all the time. Up to 500, 700 degrees heat resistant. You're going to get this 13 inch enameled, meaning natural non stick with glass, Bobby approved. Hey, what's up? A uh, cast iron pan. Tell me that face. Look at that chocolate face. Look at that chocolate face. Oh my goodness. Protein smoothie? Yeah. Tell everybody what the smoothie tastes like. Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. I, I agree. I think it tastes like a chocolate milkshake. But I think you've only had it before. So, yeah. That's a beautiful bracelet. Is that for, for you? For honey. No. Right back, Rosie. So this is enameled so you can wash with soapy water. 
because if you don't have a manual, the care is a little too much. So I'm going to pump up the heat a little more the here. Maybe when I bent over, I was bending something. It should be okay now. Let me see. It sounds okay now. There we go. Sound is all wonky. It wouldn't be a live stream without audio issues, right? Right. Sound is all wonky. It wouldn't be a live stream without audio issues, right? Sounds okay now. So let me know if it's okay now, you guys. No, and uh, been a combo issue between yeah. me and you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was bending over. Now, how do I know the temperature of a pan? I use the infrared gun. Or you, your uh, eyes when you, start, when you see it smoking. Or your eyes, like they did back in the old days before technology. <laughs> they, you you got to try this, Desi. <laughs> so, so, yeah, exactly. We wow. made the traditional like salad with the rose honey maple dressing. I think this is maybe one of the best ones ever. Isn't that lovely? Very nice. Good job. Crispy. Seasoned properly. <laughs> nice. We're on the same page there. So I want my pan to be around 400 degrees. Oh, wow. That's actually way hotter. That's too much work. You mean Bobby oh, Churry? 500, very hot. Bobby Churry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cook the steaks in ghee. Oh, I don't have that much ghee. I'm going to save that. Where's my ghee? How about I'm not running out of ghee? I made a Bobby Churry sauce recently. I take on a chimichurri, but I did it my way. And it was amazing. Do you remember that one? I did it. Basically, it was like a chimichurri, but without the oregano. Different kind of vinegar, maple syrup was in there, and it was amazing. Did it have cilantro? It did not. It had parsley. Mm -hmm. um, somebody always wanted to ask this: when ingredients state natural blueberry, strawberry, etc., flavor, is that the same as natural flavor? A hundred percent, yes. Okay, so when you're putting the steak in the pan, do it away from you. So you don't get burned. And then put your Bobby approved splatter guard down immediately. That comes in the cookware set. And then I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. Uh, Jay Harvey, $5 holler. Please don't give super chats. You don't have to do that, Jay. Always want to. Oh, that was you. Thank you, Jay. All I ask is that maybe take the link to this and share it to your Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, it is too loud? I'm sorry. Are there any good natural flavors where? No. No. There's zero. It's just. You can't hear? Hey, I'll turn your iPad up. No. The answer is no. It's a cheap way to get flavoring. And trust me, I know better than ever now because I'm developing all my products without natural flavors and it costs more money because you have to use real ingredients. Natural flavors are just lab-derived flavors enhanced to hijack your taste buds. That's it. Speaking of hijacking my taste buds, I'm going to have a Spinny D told me about this drink. And Spindrift is one of the only bubbly flavored waters that don't use natural flavors. But take a bag of Keto Pink Grapefruit Flav City Lemonade. Mix it with a Spindrift. It's maybe the most refreshing drink ever. And because Spindrift only has four net carbs, and this has one net carb, it's a five carb drink that tastes sweet like sugar. And a lot of people don't realize this about my lemonades. There's 100% of your daily value of vitamin C, both in this one and the yellow bag, which is original. But it comes from acerola juice powder. Acerola is the most bioavailable source of vitamin C. So you're getting a one net carb, keto diabetic friendly pink lemonade. The sweetness is like real sugar, like many of you know, because we use the most expensive stevia money could buy. And it tastes like the real deal. But when you add a spinny to that, woo, it's insane in the membrane. Chris Carroll said they tried it. It's the best drink. Now we can't find the pineapple skin 
Bobby effect is real, y'all. I've seen people have been posting in the Facebook group. By the way, if you want to join, uh, Dirk is the moderator. Uh, Flave City Facebook group, not the page, the group on Facebook. Uh, it's a great place for fans, and I pop in there once in a while. People are buying Spindrift left and right. This is the drink of the summer. Splash in there a little bit of tequila or mezcal or vodka, which is zero net carb liquor. Cheers. Try the lemon tea Spindrift, someone said. It's with good. this? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Or maybe with the other one. Or with the original one. Either. So uh, I would throw some immunity in there, actually, because I think that would be even like... Well, what we did on the website, because Leilani invented a drink called the Leilani Palmer. <laughs> it's one scoop of immune tea, one scoop of lemonade with eight to 10 ounces of water. The flavor is fire. So on our website right now, we have the Flav City Palmer, Leilani Palmer bundle. It's 10% off when you get these two together and you get free shipping if you get anything over $59 on the website. So I would go to shopflavcity.com. Like I said, description box is right here. So you click the arrow and shopflavcity.com here. I would go over there and I would get the Flav City Palmer bundle and get the protein, you get free shipping and we ship to Canada. This combo is great. Or this with the protein would be great and you can make the Spindrift lemonade. It's crazy, crazy good stuff. Apologies to Tina for the shaky camera. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, Elena. Too much coffee. <laughs> Ooh, look at the crust on that steak, y'all. Oh, don't you forget about me. Adopted live for the show. Someone rang the doorbell, sweetie. <laughs> I should have gotten the name credit, but it's okay. Someone just rang the doorbell. Maybe it's uh, Sergey. No, it's needed Oh, the Banitza's here. It needed to be coherent against all platforms, and not everyone knows who I am. Especially on YouTube, I would say. Yeah, exactly. This drink is so fucking good, it's crazy. Invented, I think, by Madeline in Chicago, and Dirk told me about it. Amazing. Um, Dirk says he's working on a new one with the lemonade. Interesting. So you're going to have to do us updated, Dirk. Well, we have a reel coming out on Instagram in the next coming days with mm -hmm. Flav City drink hats. Ooh, here it is, all right? Uh, well, here it is. We got a sweet banitza. Nice. More banitza. Thank you, Irena. So we have the different shapes here. So come over to the other side. Okay. More so <laughs> this is the beauty of having Bulgarians in the house here. This is the traditional circular shape of banitza, but you made it with yaboki? With both with apples. No, this is with apple and this is with feta and egg. Okay, Ooh, so this apple. is a sweet one with apples or yaboki. Amazing. And this is with the sirense and uh, the egg. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yummy. Wow. So excited. And that's the whole wheat, filo dough. The whole wheat. Best yeah. idea it's ever. The best. best idea. It happened by chance. I went, my kids love this stuff. Yeah. And they make it only once or twice a year now because when I make it, yeah. it finishes right away. Yeah. I mean, I swear, I kept one of those at home and plum and yeah. So initially, we were making it with this because this is the best feel of dough you can buy. It's organic. But Irene said, try it with the whole wheat one because whole wheat is a little more rough and hearty. hearty. It holds up better and it does. It's, we use both today with whole wheat and they're bomb.com. If you want the recipe, just search Flav City Bulgarian Cheese Pie on Google. It's unbelievable. And then at Whole, at Whole Foods, they carry this. They carry the Bulgarian. You got it all. Sheep's milk. Irena, have you seen this one? The Bulgarian uh, feta cheese at uh, Whole Foods? Yes. Yeah, th this one? Yeah. This is the one that I usually buy. Yeah. There's also a Bulgarian one um, at uh, Publix. Oh, really? The Vigo, and then also at Costco, <coughs> they used to have the best Bulgarian. At Costco? Oh, really? But I don't see it anymore. Interesting. So, wow. Bulgarian yeah. Well, that's exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> She's our only human. I am. I have too much coffee today. <laughs> Water, I mean, agua is the best. Wow, there's only 
I mean, this is just a uh, three grams of natural pineapple juice sugar. If anything, because most people are so used to sweet flavors and natural flavors, people would find this to be too bland. I think this is an amazing one. No, that tastes way better than LaCroix. LaCroix is bland. What are you talking about? It's like a fruit yelling from another room. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> but they're using natural flavors. They're natural essences. So this with this is going to be the drink of the summer. Now, Leilani and I will do some cocktails and mocktails with all this stuff for you soon. Uh, we did... Um, Baked oats. We did protein baked oats with the uh, protein. The other day, that video is not live yet, right? Or is it? Um, no. No. No, we did the yogurt. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, and we made these. Let's go show this. We made frozen yogurt protein bites with yogurt and the protein. Just two ingredients. If you want to add more, you can. But look at these. They're super cute. We put them in little silicone molds and froze them. And just to... To mess around with those, we use the Trader Joe's version of Forager yogurt, this one here. So it's fun to experiment with the protein because when you add that to recipes, you get the protein and you get the nutrients from that. So it's really cool. So just to clarify, we use the yogurt, yes. but the macros are yes. the whole fat. Yes. Correct. Like the A2 or something. Correct. Correct. I'm going to have another minute on that. Just a little. Yeah, people well. were worried. Well, Somebody wanted to know if the protein is okay for kids. Not. Yes, so for ages 2 to 12, I would give a half scoop. And for 12 and over, a full scoop. Like for Rose, actually, I'd do a quarter scoop. I'd say 2 to 5, a quarter scoop. And 5 to 12, a half scoop. 12 and over, a full scoop. For pregnant women... 100% from nursing moms, 100%. It's very lactose inducing because of a high quality way. And I can't stress this enough. It's so important that we not only used 100% grass fed whey protein concentrate, it's undenatured or cold pressed, meaning it's minimally processed. So you don't scorch the lactose. So if you're lactose intolerant like me, Erica, Dan, dozens of people are having no issues with this because the whey is completely cold pressed or minimally processed. And then when you add to it, once again, to make it a smoothie, the whey protein. 10 grams of grass-fed collagen, banana powder, peanut butter powder, cocoa powder, coconut milk, organic third-party lab-tested pea protein, pink salt, reishi mushrooms, cordyceps mushrooms. You cannot taste them. They're just there for mental cognition and clarity. Top shelf stevia and monk fruit. Everything in here is best in class. You get 25 grams of protein, 14 net carbs, 200 calories, six grams of fat, and it's smooth, it's creamy. Rose drank it also, I can't show you anymore. It's amazing. You gotta try it. I'm telling you, if you drink protein, if you want a meal replacement, that's the one for you at shopflavecity.com. Did you use it or would you use it in her um, avocado pudding? Um, yes, I think it'd be really fun to augment some of the cocoa powder with protein powder, absolutely. To make an extra protein. Yes, yes, 100%. I'm gonna take these steaks out here. Does it make the cup smell bad like normal way? No way, man! It, uh, it hasn't smelled bad at all to me. And the reason why we use whey protein concentrate instead of isolate is because concentrate has a really nice creamy milky texture. Isolate is chalky AF. We don't want that. Can you mix it with water or milk? Either or. Either or. So surprisingly, that's been the number one question. Can you mix it with water? And yes, you can. It's not going to be quite as creamy. Oh, let's, let's try it right now. Let's mix it with water and see what happens. It's delicious. And it's not, look at Rose mixing, the mixologist. What are you making? Farina? That's so sweet of you. Is that, is that a uh, Amari? Amari? Oh, it's for rose honey. Oh. A little, a little rosa lemonade. So while the steak. to link the splatter guard, but it's not out yet. Oh, yeah, this is mine. This is the Flav City one. It'll be available in the cookware set or a la carte if you don't want to buy the whole thing. So one of my favorite things to do while steak is resting, where my steak go? All right. Is 
put a dollop of ghee or butter on there, just so it like gets happy, as Emeril would say, right? How is the way and the shape of our people who are dairy? That's what I said before. It should not bother your stomach at all unless you're severely intolerant because it's cold pressed, non denatured way. Can you wash Rosie's with So it's very, very minimally, <laughs> very minimally processed. Don't fall down, you stinker bugger. That's right, every morning with me on the couch. So I do have more. So this is the texture, look at this, of the one with almond milk. I got a lot, perfect, look at that. I mean, come on, without a blender, you guys, without gums, emulsifiers, oils, this is next level. Now, we're gonna make one with agua. Can you make it the night before and grab and go? Yeah, put it in the fridge, absolutely. Or just put the powder in your shaker cup. This isn't available yet, but it will be soon. And then pour the milk in wherever you are. Imagine taking a bag of this, hey sweetie, to a trip abroad or something, and then getting a jug of almond milk or whatever to have, and then shaking it there. Because we know that when you travel, it gets dicey to eat good. So I'm gonna put in water. I'm going to do just under 12 ounces because I think it'll be a little too thin there. I put a shaker ball. Every order, by the way, gets a free shaker ball or whisk ball. Oh, no, no, no. It's right there. I don't waste nothing. I ain't wasting nothing. <laughs> and we'll do it. Look at, look at this serving, right? And by the way, this is the same cost per serving as Four Sigmatic or any other top protein on the market. But like I said, mine is a protein smoothie. It has eight smoothie ingredients in there, whereas the other ones you still need to blend. So it's actually cheaper. It's very exciting. I've never been more excited. This and the product coming out next, the Sleepy Tea Latte, are two of the most exciting products I think. Competitively priced for sure, Julio. Give me a uh, ice cube in here. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Julia. Two also, up. you can make and have this. Yes. And uh, Dark said he was able to go through TSA without any issue. That's what I want to hear, my man. So coming up next is a sleepy tea latte. Think of a creamy Starbucks latte. No caffeine. So coconut milk, cinnamon, vanilla with ashwagandha, melatonin, and magnesium. It will relax you, put you asleep, and keep you asleep. It's going to be epic. And for that one, everyone who subscribes to that in June will get a free artisan for Tessa mug that is super high quality. That's a $35 mug, and I'm giving it to you for free. I was debating between that and like a cheapo with a Flav City logo on there. I'm like, screw that. I'm like, let's give them a really nice mug so you can sit on the couch and watch your Bridger tin and be like, whoo, and then pass out. People are very excited for it. Well, I did a poll on Instagram and 85% of people said they had sleep issues. Okay, so, once again, side by side. That's the water, or that's the milk one. This is the water one. Um, that's really nice for water. Now, it is a little thinner, but it's water. But because I have banana powder in there, coconut powder, um, peanut butter powder, It's delicious. And if you're hungry at night and you don't want to eat, warm up 10 ounces of water or half water, half milk. Put it to this. Desi invented it. It's called a protein hot chocolate. And because it has fat and, and uh, protein, it satiates your hunger. It's so good. So there you go. Let me flip this. We can give it to the girls and see what they think. A hot, oh, that's right. It's the hot Desi chocolate. Thank you. I got a crust on that today. That's beautiful. And I think the hood's working pretty well. I'm not getting any smoke in here today. Yeah. Because, fun fact, when you want to satiate your hunger, protein combined with fat does that. So, like I said, at night, with 50-50 almond milk or cow's milk and water, and you drink that, it satiates your hunger without eating junk food. Let's come over here. All right, you guys are going to do a little taste test. So one of these is made with almond milk, and one is made with water. Yeah. Okay. You'll be able to tell the difference 
But one of the biggest questions we're getting from people is, can you make it with water? And you tell me if da. it's a suitable texture for you. You can tell a little bit of the difference. Uh -huh. The flavor is the same. Yep. You can tell that this is with water is a little thinner. Yep. But yep. just this, I mean, this is just thicker, like really, really thick smoothie. Yep. And this is just a little thinner. Yeah. But flavor is the same. Right. Irina, have you tried the protein yet? Oh, she has to try it. Oh my yeah. God. Give her a cup. Do you mind sharing yeah, with I, her? I, can, I, I don't. I don't mind. Do you mind sharing? No, I don't. So that's the round that's with the, milk. That's with the milk. <laughs> Very nice. I like it better with the um, milk because of the creaminess and yes. the texture. I wouldn't mind drinking it. Yes. Milk. Doesn't yeah. that taste like it's been blended with something? Yeah. yeah. There's no and blender at all. I want to like thing I can. Yes. That's, that's, I want to I that. Yep. That's the best. Yep. And Baba Dani, try the Vodichka one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a game. Which one's which? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have the option to use water if you want. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dad, Mom, look at me. I can't. She wouldn't pick one over the other. Wow. All right. Good to know. There you go. Three Bulgarians would never lie to you. <laughs> never lie to you. So here it is, Leilani. Check it out. There it is. So make sure. No subscriptions yet. make sure. No subscriptions yet. Um, it isn't sold out yet, but we sold over 2100 in 12 hours from yesterday morning to last night. So here it is. It's $50 for, 30, uh, for, 50 for 20 servings, so $2.50. It's the same price as um, Four Sigmatic or Truvani, but we have all the smoothie ingredients. So like I said, go to shopflavecity.com. I put the link below the video. And if you get any two items that are over $59, you'll get free shipping. And this is what we added yesterday, just for a limited time. It's called the Palmer. It's 10% off. It's lemonade and immune tea. Acerola, one net carb lemonade with my famous immune tea. It gets the most amazing flavor ever. Hello, Renee, nice to see you. So that's what's going on. But you're going to want to get that protein because it's going to sell out in the next 24 hours, I can guarantee you. And hopefully vitamin C will be back at some point. Uh, Later this month or early uh, May. Renee said she ordered the protein powder. Love it, Renee. Love it. That is a pool being built, saying, man. Yes, indeed. What else? Almond milk from Elmhurst. Almond milk from Elmhurst is good. It has a little bit of a bitter flavor, but it's good. Well, I buy a lot of different almond milks. I buy Knowing Also Fire almond milk for like drinking or a cereal bowl. But because I drink this all the time, this does have a few emulsifiers and gums. But it's one of the better ones that has no cane sugar and natural flavors. So I'm not going to use the expensive ones all the time because it adds up. But this is a good smoothie one in and of itself. That's a really tough one to make at home because it has... Real ashwagandha, melatonin, and magnesium. It's a, it's a tough one. What cow milk brand do you recommend? 100% um, grass-fed uh, milk from Maple Hill. That's a good one. Or even better, find a local farm who makes raw grass-fed dairy. Patricia said, so how do you make protein smoothie was just delivered? Thank you for the whisk ball. Love it. Every, everyone gets a free whisk ball just to enhance the uh, experience. Can you wait for mine? Mine will be coming later this year. It's going to be Keto uh, Orange Dreamsicle. I honestly don't know one that doesn't have natural flavors and stuff like that. Let me see how the steak is doing here. 
yes, but I don't like putting stainless steel in the dishwasher. Just rinse it under the sink. Because sometimes the, the detergent can like stick to that kind of stuff and I don't want it. Even though I use non-toxic dishwashing detergent, I don't want that on there. <laughs> Get her a lot of mic? Yeah. We'll improve everything here. So let me show you something. Vanilla cinnamon. Yes, everyone's going to like that one. So when you have skirt steak, it's very important to cut it against the grain because you'll notice the muscle fibers here run up and down. If I cut it like that, I'm cutting it with the fibers, you'll have long pieces of protein. It'll be very chewy. So I'm going to cut it in half once, but then I turn it and I cut it like this. And when I cut it like this, I'm cutting it against the grain. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Juice is coming out of there. And because I have smaller grain now, it's going to melt in my mouth. That's the nature of skirt stick. Very stretchy. Oh my God, it's so good. Yummy. Seasoned perfectly. When did you say the keto one was coming out? Mm, later this year. Don't have a timeline yet. No. COVID supply chain, y'all. Yeah, it's really tough. Skirt steak dinner. Spice crusted skirt steak. Easy slaw salad with wild rice. Nutrient dense. Because we're using wild rice, yeah, it has more carbs, but there's so much fiber in there, it's not going to spike your blood sugar that much at all. I guarantee I know because I wore a blood sugar monitor for a long time. But I ate meals like that. So, absolutely. Gluten free, third party lab tested for heavy metals, all that jazz. It's literally the best protein powder on the market, but like I said, it's a protein smoothie. Nobody's doing what we're doing. They're probably gonna try to copy us. I'm just cooking these on the side, they're pretty fat. It's a pro there are great proteins on the market, but no one also has a smoothie because it was a pain in the behind to blend the smoothie every single day. Now just to go like this for 20 seconds, you gotta shake it vigorously because otherwise it will clump a little bit. You gotta Shake it like that for 20 seconds, right? Get your butt into it like that. And uh, that's what it is. Okay, I think we're in the home stretch. That's about it, you guys. Well, we got 1,100 lovely people watching. Let's do a couple questions. When's the last time the body went to Chipotle now that he has decked out the kitchen? Well, the only time we went to Chipotle is when we were out and about, uh, Art and I filming all day long. And we don't really do that too much these days. We'll go to the store for a little bit. So I haven't been to, uh, probably haven't been to Chipotle in probably a year. Sounds about right. Another keto one until this one. Oh. Well, gosh, see, if you're okay with natural flavors, Dr. Axe probably has a good one. Or like um, Garden of Life, grass-fed protein powder. Hashtag feed Leilani. Okay, look at D. D's looking out for you. I know. Try a bite of this. I'm going to give you the ultimate bite. So I'm going to give you a little steaky. Steaky. And look at that bite for the liners, right? Uh -huh. Look at that. Is that good for you, D? Open wide. Mm. The meat is just, oh. oh God. It's got such an interesting texture. It's fatty. It's flavorful. I love it. I love it. Where can you get good cereal? Um, we really like Seven Sundays from Whole Foods. It's a beautiful paleo cereal. Thrive Market has a great keto coconut cereal. Cereal is very tricky. We'll have a video coming out about that, uh, a little YouTube short very soon. I am not a Hawaiian, but my name is... Your mom was obsessed with Hawaii, right? No. No? Or she liked Hawaii. Or something. Oh, oh, the song. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yes. Yeah, Japan. Japan Yeah, the Japanese love Hawaii. So there you go. Yum e. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you guys. 
a good pasta that doesn't spike your blood sugar too much. Anyone made from chickpeas or red lentils? It'll be great because they're super high in fiber. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Will there be a sugar free or keto version of the protein powder? Yes. We'll have keto ones coming, orange dreamsicle, and keto uh, funfetti cake batter for sure. This is just the first iteration. Oh, wow. No, do you want to try that? All right, guys. Let's get Desi's quick opinion here. Wanna yeah, of course, here. Yeah. I'll serve that to everyone. I want you to try this yeah. real quick. Try a little bit of the stick here. Oh, nice. Super yeah. flavorful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's it, you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, really fun, impromptu live stream. I will pop on. We'll do some more of these. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Uh, check out the um, protein powder. Check out all the other products that you've supported throughout the years. But this one, you're going to love. ShopFlavCity.com. Grab it before it uh, sells out. You can uh, slice this one if you want. But that is it. For the whole crew, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and? Peace. Mad love and? Peace. Thank you, Rose. All right. We're out of here. There you guys.